years ago, when I was younger, I'll just say, I was on the porch with Grandma and probably my sister, my mom, up there in Preston, Idaho. And across the yards, the backyards, the gardens, and yes, even the horse pasture, this wafting aroma of barbecue sauce came across. It was amazing. Well, I went over to our friends and neighbors, uh, the Crockett's house at that time, hey, Jody, and uh, decided to figure out how they made that amazing barbecue sauce. And I've done it before on TV, and it is truly amazing. So we're gonna do it again today, starting off with a base of caramel, making caramel. Butter, sugar, some corn syrup, and water that I brought up to a boil, and I'm just letting it start to boil here, and it's going to caramelize, and then we'll add into it some prepared barbecue sauce already. And this is the greatest thing. You can buy any kind of barbecue sauce you want to go into it. But first of all, we're gonna slice up some onions to get going into there, because we're gonna add some onions, we're gonna add some garlic to it. I've already roasted a pork uh, roast. Just simply roast it however you would like to do a pork roast. And that's the thing about it. Season it however you want. Take it to 195 degrees internally. That's important because that'll allow you to actually shred the pork when it cools off. So I'm gonna slice up some onions here. I've got the caramel over here beginning to boil and to caramelize. Here goes some garlic. All of this is going to go into the sauce here in just a second so that it infuses that caramel with onions and garlic. And then we'll finish off that barbecue sauce and these delicious pulled pork sandwiches here when we come back. I have the pork already shredded, ready to go. So all we are doing now is just waiting on our delicious barbecue sauce. So when I come back, we'll finish it all up. Let's finish up these pulled pork sandwiches. I just added the barbecue sauce into the caramel here. I'm stirring it together, and that's all there is to it. So it's a barbecue sauce that has a base of caramel in it that's been infused with onions and garlic. Oh, so good. Thank you to Jody Crockett for teaching me how to make this all those years ago. And so I hope I'm still doing it right, Jody. So once that's all mixed together, I have the shredded pork ready to go here. And I'm just going to take some of the barbecue sauce and I'm going to pour it over the shredded pork. Now it's really hot, so be careful that you don't burn yourself on it. So once we get that into there, toss that together so it tosses, um, so it coats the pulled pork in there. And it's important to put it in there when it's hot, because when it's hot, it's going to kind of seep a little bit better into the pulled pork itself. And so, oh, that smells so amazing. I can't wait for you all to try that. Now, as far as the buns, they're just a sub submarine sandwich type of hoagie and I got them I cut them in half almost the way in half about three quarters of the way sprayed them with some uh, vegetable spray with a little bit of seasoning stuck them under the broiler so that they toast up a little bit and then once you get that pulled pork tossed with that caramel barbecue sauce that's going to go right on top of there and the reason why I like to do them on these hoagie sandwiches like this they're easier to pick up and carry around. They're not gonna, you know, with the round ones, it just kind of falls out of the edge when you pick them up and to bite it. These, you can just pick them up and off you go. It's a really easy way to do it. Now you can head on over to cookingwithchefbrian.com for this particular recipe or to kutv.com and enjoy a delicious taste of some pulled pork with a caramel-based yeah, you guessed it, caramel-based barbecue sauce that's so delicious. Now, this will store easily in the refrigerator airtight container for about four weeks, guys. Go grab the recipe and enjoy.